Columbo. Oh. Hi, Mr. Franklin. Just finishing up this last Melville mystery. I didn't get a chance the other day. All right, now, what are you doing here? Well, I'm waiting for you. I happen to be in the neighborhood. Oh, you're always in the neighborhood. And you tell me what right you've got to keep those movers out of this office? Oh, listen, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you know what I thought? I thought you and I should talk alone. You and I have nothing to talk about. Yes, we do, Mr. Franklin. We have something to talk about. I'm here to arrest you for the murder of your partner. What? Now, it's my duty to inform you of your constitutional rights. Oh, you cut that drivel. I've written that stuff so many times, I know it by heart. And what is this nonsense? You're going to arrest me. Come on, Mr. Franklin. Why don't you make a statement and save us both a lot of trouble? You know, I've really got you. All right, Lieutenant. You got me. I'm your prisoner here. Clamp the irons on me. Do you want to give me a dime first so I can phone my attorney? Because I promise you I'm going to sue you and your department for false arrest and defamation of character. I kind of knew it right from the start. It was nothing definite. It was a lot of little things. Little things. Driving back from San Diego on the day of the murder instead of taking a plane. The open mail. Never showing any genuine emotion for a man that you worked with for 10 years. <laughs> with that, you know what they're going to do? They're going to laugh you right out of court. They're not going to laugh at the insurance policy, are they? I've got a photostatic copy of it here in my pocket. They're going to laugh at the fact that you withdrew $15,000, put it back the next day. I've got the book that you gave to Miss Lasanka with your signature in it. You expect to get a true bill of indictment on that trivia? Come on, Lieutenant. I was down in San Diego. So was your partner. That's a provocative statement. Can you prove that? Yes. Not with the witness, because you killed the witness. But I got another way to prove it. Well, you enlighten me. I must say I enjoy watching a man raise without any cards in his hand. You know what, Ken? I'm going to tell you the truth. For a while there, I never thought I was going to get you. Believe me, you had me going in such circles, I couldn't figure it out. Suddenly, I thought of something. How clever that first murder was. The phone gimmick, working late in the office, brilliant. Are you awarding gold medals today? Yes, for the first one, not for the second one. That was sloppy. Mrs. Melville, she'd have been very disappointed. Well, come on, get to the climax, Lieutenant. You're talking to a writer. Am I? That's not what I heard. And that's the key, that you're not a writer. When Mrs. Ferris told me that you didn't contribute to the writing, that her husband did all the work... That's a lie. I had to say to myself, how could a man with no talent for mysteries make up such a clever murder? If he were that genius, you'd be able to write your own books. Go ahead, I'm fascinated. As boring as it may be. Then I got it. The first one, the clever one, that wasn't yours. The second one, the sloppy one, that was yours. But not the first. Oh? And whose idea was that, then? Your partners. Had to be. And his wife told me how conscientious he was. You know, the way he used to write down his ideas on every odd scrap of paper, backs of matches, whatever ah, it was. Ah, ah, so that's why you wouldn't let the movers in. Well, I had to rummage around here before they emptied everything out. Is this your partner's handwriting? Well, I think I can prove it is. Maybe I ought to read this to you. Idea for a Melville book, perfect alibi. A wants to kill B, drives B to a remote house and has him call his wife in city, tells her he's working late at the office. Bang, bang. Sound familiar? That's the part you used. Practically word for word. Should I read some more? No. Officer, with this, I think I got a conviction, don't you? You gotta admit I had you going for a while now, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> you wanna know the irony of all of it? That is my idea. Only a really good one I ever had. I must have told it to Jim over five years ago. <laughs> Whoever thought that idiot would write it down? Just one more thing. <laughs> 